I didn't choose the orc life, the orc life chose me. Hey guys, this is my review for Bright, a film done by David Ayer, the previous director of films such as Suicide Squad, End of Watch, and Fury. All movies that have had interesting sort of dynamic elements in terms of either violence, depression, darkhood, uh, mainly police, sort of kind of the issues of the day that people don't really want to talk about. But at the same time, they're also slightly progressively less worse and worse movies. End of Watch has still been the best movie that David Ayer has ever made. The film Bright is the idea of what would happen if fairy tale creatures took place in current day. It is admittedly a very cool world building experience. Much like the movie Elysium was, Elysium the story itself wasn't that great but the world building was really cool and you were really brought into that. Same thing happens for Bright. The first hour of this film is all about world building and very very cool character basis. Mainly the idea that Joel Edgerton's orc character is the outcast. He's the first orc ever on the police force and everyone hates him. If anything it's kind of like the idea, a lot of, it's a really weird comparison here, but I feel like he's the Jackie Robinson in terms of the police force. In the sense that he is hated by everyone, no one wants him there, and it's, you could call it a racial uh, aggressiveness is there. And what's most perplexing about it is Will Smith is put front and center. He's being pushed by these people. He's not of the idea. He doesn't, he may not like Joel Edgerton, but he is definitely not of this racist, very aggressive group. He feels that he should be given a chance even though Joel Edgerton has not been straight up with him. Mainly there's a part, there's a very, very heated section in the, right in the middle of the film that plays out pretty unexpectedly. The whole sequence is, is nail-biting, admittedly, and I really enjoyed it. However, when the wand, this is at the middle of the point, is when the wand is introduced and everything falls apart slowly, brick by brick afterwards. There is nothing but extremely generic rinse and repeat gun battles that happen as these two cops now have to go on the run because they basically have a nuclear weapon in their hand and everyone wants a piece of it. So it just it just seems to turn into this incident of go to place, have shootout, go to next place, have shootout, go to this place, have shootout. Numi Replance is the villain of this film and she's pretty generic. She doesn't do anything besides look at you with these weird psycho elf eyes and then cuts up people. And that's the other thing too, they totally play with the dynamic of her character's power. At one point, when she's sort of first introduced, she murders like a freaking killing machine. She kills all of these gang members, her and her clansmen, like, like nothing. And that's the first real introduction we see of her. But then, if she's able to take down all of these gangsters without any issue, how is she not able to take down Will Smith, uh, a recently come back from a medical situation cop and a rookie orc cop? The, these guys are able to go toe to toe with these elves who we just saw murder a bunch of people. So that was a thing that really brought me out of the movie. The danger level was gone. There wasn't really any aspects. The world around them was more dangerous. A freaking gangster who is a paraplegic was more dangerous to them than these elves were. Now, the visuals are really cool. The aspects of the characters are very interesting. But like I said, af about the halfway point, the movie just starts to dumb down. And at the end of it, you're just kind of wanting it to end because it really drags itself out. It has some cool moments here and there. There's some really funny humor. There's one line about a shootout that <laughs> Will Smith says, great, an awkward shootout. It's actually a really funny line. Joel Edgerton does a great job of taking a really very, very unique, very new kind of character idea of a orc who's a rookie wannabe cop. Say that in think about that if where have you really seen that before <laughs> but what you do see on the on underneath the skin is routines and cliches from different films some of which being Ayers films so while I did enjoy aspects of bright 
I admit that after the halfway point, the film just kind of starts the generic path towards the end, and it really kind of sours what was a really interesting experience. However, this movie's better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be garbage. I just thought it had a really cool aspect to it. And that's a lot of what David Ayer's films are. They're really cool aspects that are never truly well executed. Anyways, guys, I'm going to give Bright a 3 out of 7. It's an enjoyable time. You're going to definitely be brought into the whole story and aspect of what the movie is. But as it progresses on, you're going to start kind of looking at your watch and just thinking... Yeah, where did the good part of this movie go? Anyways guys, I hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed that, leave a like down below and maybe even subscribe. Anyways guys, that's all from me. I'll see you guys next time.